Ladies and gentlemen, the moment is finally here. Our final Cold War Zombies round based DLC map is coming next week and we have a name. We have all the details just revealed from Treyarch. So let's dive into it. If you're excited, let me know your thoughts below. Drop the video a thumbs up, but let's jump into it. So here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. The name of the final DLC map is simply called Forsaken. And we can see the logo here. It looks pretty darn awesome if there's anything to go by with the name of this map is obviously going to be about the forsaken and we see in the little o there that that could be the portal for the forsaken to come out from the dark ether black ops cold war zombies concludes on october 7th the ultimate showdown between requiem and omega group is about to begin today Treyarch are proud to reveal the title, logo, and release date for the finale of Black Ops Cold War Zombies. Forsaken will launch October 7th at the start of Season 6. Like all post-launch zombies experiences in Cold War, this new round-based map will be available for free, providing the shocking conclusion to the Dark Eva story's opening chapter. But here we get a teaser of one of the new enemy types which we saw on their social medias like last week. So let's see if we get a name for this thing so as fans have learned in the latest intel throughout season 5 requiem's director's plans for samantha max is employing unorthodox methods to help her understand the powers she's developed during her time in the dark ether requiem and omega have embarked upon rival operations to extract sergeant kazimir zykov from the dark ether believing this lost russian the soviet soldier who closed the portal at project end station which we see in the intro cutscene for d machine will be the key to preventing a destructive force from entering our world and now now, a mega defector Sergei Ravanov has provided Requiem with intelligence detailing a massive new ethereal portal being constructed in western Ukraine. Now we see that is a remake or a sort of spin-off of the campaign mission Red Light Green Light. Hopefully we get to see a little bit more of how that's going to transition into the zombies map in this blog post but we can see another teaser that we showed you guys uh, a week or so ago. Here we've got Intel incoming. With Agent Max's understanding the path ahead of her and our own role in determining the fate of our dimension the stakes couldn't possibly be higher. Be sure to turn on notifications for Treyarch on Twitter in the coming days for more info on what's to come, including the official Season 6 gameplay trailer and more teasers you won't want to miss. Who else knows what's waiting in the Dark Eve? And we'll be covering all of that for you guys here on the channel. Oh my god. So they teased yesterday, right? Let's zoom into this here. They teased on their social media that there is going to be a Dark Aoife authentic weapon coming in this map. And we can see this in the teaser here, which... If we look, we've got a post-it note. One of the post-it notes says Carver. One of our teams recovered this from the Dark Aether. Seems to be a schematic for an ancient weapon. And then the second post-it note says, looks like you'll get your wish for an authentic Dark Aether weapon after all, Strauss, which is hella exciting. When we saw just that post-it note yesterday, a lot of people suspected we might see a old wonder weapon returning, but no siree. We're getting a brand new wonder weapon fresh from the Dark Aether. Now, this is officially called the Chrysalax. So you can see that in the top left. The handwriting is a little bit difficult to work out, but a very popular theory, which I heavily agree with, and I first saw this from Eric Maynard on Twitter, so big shout out to him. He believes that what we're seeing here is an ancient scripture of this weapon, which was discovered by the main character that we've seen so far for Vanguard Zombies, which is Gabriel Craft from the 1940s and 50s. He's the demonologist who's been looking for ancient runes. He's come across the Chrysalax back in the day. And with this schematic, which they have recovered from the Dark Aether, there's no background as to where it came from. But Carver says, you know, it's recovered. Seems to be a schematic for an ancient weapon. And then Strauss saying it's authentic dark for wonder weapon after all is a great chance that the character for vanguard came across this now the post-it notes cover some of the description for it but triarch has just teased the first line that we can see which if we zoom in here it says forged in and then it's blanked out so they just tweeted forged in the pools of ethereal two forms the chrysalax shall take hashtag forsaken and if we zoom back out we can see that there is indeed two forms that this weapon is going to take. The one on the right looks really interesting to me. It almost looks like a melee weapon of sorts, almost like a battle axe. We've got the two sides there. I don't know exactly what this is going to, you know, emit. It looks like it's going to be crystal shards and it just looks so freaking cool. Like just zoom in there to see that detail there of it sort of floating. Just imagine it's not even a fully like physical thing. It's floating. That'd be absolutely insane. Then we can see on the right here, it has a more traditional sort of 
pistol gripped of a sense as a handle but it's just such an unusual looking weapon but i'm really really excited to see what this thing is gonna do you can see there's sort of electrical energy coming from both front and back i'm really really excited about this and it's going to be Probably one of the most unique wonder weapons we've seen in a very long time. Up to now, there's sort of been reworkings of stuff we've seen before, like the Ray K. It's just the Ray gun, but as an assault rifle. The Cerberus was really, really great, but this looks to be even more ambitious and cool than anything we've seen before. So let me know what you think about the Chrysalax weapon down below in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts, what you're th thinking so far of all of this, but we've got even more teasers to jump into. Now, there's a little bit more we can talk about from the other teasers they've dropped over the last few days, but this logo holy guac this is one of the cleanest coolest logos i think we've ever had for a zombies map like just the way that we see the f and the sort of dark ether crystals coming out of it gives me the sort of vibes of sharp edges like what we saw from the derison track bows it just looks so clean man you can tell that they are putting so much effort into this and i am so so excited to see what this is like and we only have to wait I believe it's nine days from this video going out. So in nine days time, we will have a new zombies map to play the final, final Cold War zombies map. It's kind of crazy. Now we got this teaser about a week ago from Treyarch, which we saw in that blog post there of a new enemy type, which looks to be a combination of the Plague Hounds and Nova Crawlers as well as like mimics it honestly looks a little bit like a magua if it was in a nova crawler's body it looks absolutely gruesome i am not looking forward to crawlers because I, I didn't like nova crawlers too much on alpha omega but the design of this looks so so clean and then we got this teaser about five days ago that says something big is coming and it's a blueprint for something that dr william peck has approved and for the first time in forever where they've redacted some of the details you can actually make out quite a few things so if you look just to the right there you can see what is a redacted image of i believe the machine uh its contents which is obviously this is to trap the forsaken if we read down here what we see redacted we can actually see past it try i've actually not done a too good a job here we can actually work out what it's saying that the containment chamber has been designed to the appropriate specifications required to hold the forsaken height width and length must be exact based on our information this is the approximate size of the forsaken Walls of chamber should be sealed with Ethereum, which should nullify any of the Forsaken's unnatural abilities, which is really, really exciting. So this has been designed to trap the Forsaken. We can tell its height and width. This is going to be a very big creature and it's hard to tell, but you see all the weird wires coming out the top box here. It sort of makes you think what if it could have a sort of tentacle design similar to the Shadow Man. I know we don't want to have too much of a similarity between that old universe, but it is a very unique design for it. What a lot of people pointed out as well is this little circular ball that you can see redacted. It has a very similar design to Sophia from Gorod Krovi. Now, I don't know if they would do that. I don't think they would, but it has a eerily resemblance to it. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is official. Forsaken is our Cold War Zombies DLC format, which is going to be dropping on October 7th for Black Ops Cold War. And I'm very confident that throughout all of this week, we're going to be getting more teasers and we're going to see glimpses of the map within the Season 6 gameplay trailer, which is really, really exciting. Let me know your thoughts on the name, the logo, what we know so far about the map in the comments below. Be sure to keep it locked here on the channel so you don't miss out on any new information about the map. But thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.